It is said that the Cardano token has been accepted by MasterCard. Find out the truth about this by watching this video until the end. In this video, I will also share with you what you need to know about investing in Cardano. It is no secret that cryptocurrencies have recently become a focus of attention throughout the world. Many large investors invest actively in various crypto projects only because they can bring substantial income, and a project such as Cardano is one of them. Meanwhile, MasterCard has expressed interest in cryptocurrencies several times, and we know that it is the most famous payment system in the world. Recently, MasterCard has expressed interest in Cardano. With the introduction of the international payment system, MasterCard plans to start supporting several cryptocurrencies in 2022. The company's executive vice president for digital assets, blockchain technologies and partnerships, Raj Damhodaran, noted that the company will not provide support for all existing cryptocurrencies. Further, he said that many cryptocurrencies do not yet meet its requirements. As Damhodaran pointed out, stable coins, cryptocurrencies backed by assets, are first of all being discussed. And for digital money to be used for everyday transactions, MasterCard believes that it must provide stability. MasterCard also appears to cooperate actively with several major central banks around the world. Additionally, this payment system facilitates the development of digital currencies of central banks by financial regulators. In the first week of January, Cardano traded at $1.32, up 0.1% from the previous week. Despite maintaining a bullish position, the coin will soon surpass the nearest price ceiling of $1.31. Meanwhile, the short-term technical indicators for Cardano have been very positive. Further, the price is expected to trade above Cardano's multi-month support line of $1.51 after breaking its bearish streak. Also, the value of Cardano has dropped by 6% in recent weeks. Moreover, altcoins managed to recover most of their losses last week due to the previous 24-hour gain. In the past week, the ADA has been deflected several times by the $1.30 mark as it has served as a reliable ceiling. Considering the technical indicators there may be some hope since purchasing power has returned to the market. Previously, bulls were prevented from exceeding the above level by strong selling pressure. When the relative strength indicator headed north, the bullish sentiment was evident, and a steady directional trend was exhibited by the directional movement index, indicating a buyer's market. In connection with the same, bulls have raised prices above the 20-day moving average. ADA support, however, was at $1.26. In contrast, MasterCard Incorporated announced last year that it would accept some cryptocurrencies on its network by the end of the year, joining a host of other large companies that have pledged similar support. In the days following the announcement of Elon Musk's Tesla Incorporated, MasterCard announced that it had purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and that it was soon to begin accepting it as payment. Furthermore, several companies, including asset manager BlackRock Incorporated and payment companies Square and PayPal, are also backing cryptocurrencies. Although MasterCard has not yet integrated cryptocurrencies into its network, they do offer customers cards that allow them to transact with cryptocurrencies. Additionally, MasterCard stated, doing this work will create a lot more possibilities possibilities for shoppers and merchants, allowing them to transact in an entirely new form of payment. This change may open merchants up to new customers who are already flocking to digital assets. It has been noted that not all cryptocurrencies will be able to be utilized on the MasterCard network, in addition to hundreds of digital assets still requiring stronger compliance procedures. Because cryptocurrencies are speculative and have the potential to be used for money laundering, mainstream investors and the general public have tended to away from cryptocurrencies. Then what should you know when you invest in Cardano? And what are the factors that could convince MasterCard to accept Cardano as payment? So Cardano, the oft-cited cryptocurrency founded by the co-founder of Ethereum, has gained enormous popularity. In the run-up to Ethereum, Cardano aims to become a fast-growing competitor in the world of blockchain technology. Further, Cardano's native cryptocurrency ADA has become one of the most highly valued digital assets on the market in recent years, making the network's native cryptocurrency one of the most popular digital assets to invest in. Using the Cardano tokens on the network, 
Users can pay for services or buy or sell them with U.S. dollars. In addition to being used by more people, Cardano tokens are also considered investments whose value will rise as the market expands. However, there is a considerable amount of risk associated with purchasing Cardano, and the fortunes of any particular cryptocurrency asset are difficult to predict within the crypto world, which is a novel, volatile space. And to determine whether or not that's a good decision for you, you must determine what Cardano is how it differs from other blockchain technologies and what Cardano can be used for. But don't worry, we'll give you more details about Cardano in this video. Cardano is not an exception to the rule where cryptocurrencies tend to fluctuate rapidly in value. As a general rule, keep cryptocurrencies in a small group of risky investments in your portfolio when investing in them. Investors are generally advised to put off investing until they have made more pressing financial moves, such as protecting retirement and paying off short-term debt. Furthermore, when considering whether or not to purchase Cardano, you should also consider its long-term growth prospects. Additionally, several projects such as Cardano are aiming to avoid the involvement of middlemen such as banks or brokers in complex transactions. And Cardano might be able to capture a large share of this market, which could make ADA more valuable. However, Cardano is still a work in progress and critical features like smart contracts, which can be automatically carried out in certain circumstances are only just being implemented, but once these are completed, it will impact Cardano to skyrocket its price soon. Moreover, there are several ways in which Cardano is different from other cryptocurrencies, and if it is successful, it could become one of the most widely used networks used by decentralized applications in fields such as finance and computing to eliminate intermediaries and associated costs. The fact that Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson also founded Ethereum is one advantage that makes Cardano different from some altcoins. Further, this new project is, according to him, a logical next step for ideas that have been simmering within the blockchain community. Moreover, Cardano presents itself as a product reflecting unique rigor in the academic world. And as developers explain, it is the first platform of its kind based on peer-reviewed research and developed using evidence-based methods. Also, among the most popular crypto projects today, Cardano is considered to make use of a proof-of-stake concept. While proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies present a complex subject, they generally encourage their owners to stake their holdings to confirm the legitimacy of transactions on the underlying blockchain. And owning cryptocurrency without buying more gives owners the option to earn currency. In addition to being more environmentally friendly, crypto staking is an alternative to the energy-intensive proof-of-work process. Cardano's creators are merely in the infancy of rolling out key features for the network. However, it is only just starting to develop key characteristics that will define its potential. In terms of smart contracts, for instance, the network only just introduced these capabilities. Despite Hoskinson's belief that Cardano is the best way to execute the vision that began with Ethereum, there are still fans of the older blockchain protocol, and it is continually rolling out updates that will make it competitive with newer competitors. Additionally, Analytics Insight predicts Cardano to be the most valuable and best crypto in 2022. Also, Cardano's 2022 roadmap is impressive, which should contribute to its rebound. As reported by Hoskinson and his Cardano team, they plan to launch Hydra in 2022 to facilitate real-world financial transactions. With Hydra, Cardano is launching a Layer 2 scalability solution in 2022 that will facilitate loads of financial transactions, and this will result in an unimaginable number of transactions per second. Further, scaling performance leaders like Solana and other blockchains are likely to be upset by the upgrade. In addition to dApps going live on the mainnet, Cardano's development team is planning other features and enhancements. The Cardano ecosystem System is already home to dApps like Sunday Swap and Muesli Swap. So, is this enough for MasterCard to accept Cardano as one of its payment methods? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.